With the new year upon us, it's time to make the screen go wavy, hit 88 miles an hour in the DeLorean and lay down some predictions as to which new bikes are going to be launched in 2024. Yes, the industry is in turmoil and some brands are just about scraping by, but it's almost impossible for the big players to take their foot off the gas. And this is because almost the moment a new model is launched, designers and engineers are back at the drawing board working out what the next version is going to look like. So what are the big new launches we can expect in 2024? Let's start with a brand whose motto is innovate or die. Specialized has some of the shortest model cycles in the industry. And the most obvious release coming down the pipe is the new demo. Seeing as it's been in very public development for a couple of years under Loic Bruni and Finn Isles. We expect the production model will use a full carbon monocoque front triangle rather than the lugged tube construction used for the development bikes, but that the funky UBB suspension layout will remain. We have no doubt that it will cost a pretty penny, but we're also sure that won't stop it being one of the hottest and most lusted over DH bikes ever made. Leafing through the archive, the Enduro is now four years old. The Stump Jumper Evo is three and a half years old and the Turbo Levo is nearly three years old, which in specialized terms makes them antiques. So our money would be on at least one of those bikes getting a major refresh this year and possibly all three. Will the Enduro get a version of the UBB system from the demo? Will the Turbo Levo get the SRAM motor? Will the Stumpy Evo lose the sidearm frame design to align itself with the new Levo SL? All good questions, and our hunch is yes to the last two. Let's turn our attention to Trek now, and the obvious candidate for a makeover is the Rail e-bike. Although it had a couple of minor updates in 2022, the bare bones of the rail are now four years old. And in the e-bike world, that is a lifetime. So we wouldn't be surprised at all to see a new rail emerge in the next 12 months. It might get similar styling to the Fuel EXE with sharper styling and more adjustability. We wouldn't be surprised to see Trek replace the side entry battery compartment with a fully enclosed down tube where the battery slides in from beneath. And in terms of motors, we reckon the rail will stick with the Bosch CX system as it's popular and proven. Turning our attention back to analog bikes again, the next model due for an update is the YT Izzo. This downcountry model delivers a scalpel sharp ride and sleek good looks, but it'll be four years old in July. And with lightweight, capable trail bikes becoming increasingly relevant as longer travel riders gravitate towards motor assistance, the Izzo could well be honing its blade for a relaunch. There's potential for YT to move to a flex day design to save weight at the back end and reinvest that weight saving into internal frame storage like that just released on the Jeff C. YT is also missing a lightweight e-bike model to complement the full fat decoy. So maybe there'll be a newborn duckling hatching in 2024, possibly with a TQ or Fazua motor and travel and geo based on the Jeff C. Likewise, Canyon is another brand conspicuous by its absence in the lightweight e-bike market. And being that the direct sales behemoth likes to plug every niche going, we'd be surprised if it didn't have a diet model on the calendar for release in 2024. With the Paris Olympics on the horizon, we expect a pack of new XC bikes to be jostling for gold this year. The Scott Spark, so successful in the hands of Nino Scherta, will be nearly three years old by the time the starter's pistol is fired. So we'd be surprised to see him on the current bike. No doubt Scott will keep the Spark's hidden shock, but we could see the twin lock remote removed in favor of a wireless electric system, such as flight attendant. And Scott's engineers will also have been hard at work trimming any excess fat they can find from the already lean chassis. Santa Cruz's XC flagship race rocket, the Blur, came out in June 2021 and may well get an update in time for Paris. It's unlikely Santa Cruz will rejig the frame to run the shock through the seat tube as that will add too much weight. So we don't expect the design to change dramatically but we might see some subtle geo tweaks and changes to the carbon layup to save grams. 
The Santa Cruz Bullet is also three years old. So while it was a pivotal e-bike for the boutique brand, it's a model we'd guess is due a refresh in the not too distant future. Will Santa Cruz stick with the Shimano motor or will it switch to Bosch or SRAM? Time will tell. New Proof's future is currently uncertain owing to CRC Wiggle being in administration along with parent company Cigna Sports. But we're quietly confident that a buyer will be found and Nuke Proof and Vitus will survive into 2024. If that happens, new versions of both the Nuke Proof Mega and Reactor Trail Bike could be coming our way. The Reactor was our Trail Bike of the Year in 2020 and the current Mega launched not long after. For the Reactor, we see more modern sizing and geo in our crystal ball. For the Mega, any revisions are harder to predict, but we wouldn't be surprised to see internal frame storage appear on one or both models. A fresh XC bike could be on the menu from Merida as its 96 racer came out in 2020. Ditto the brand's E160 e-bike, which was also launched in 2020. To round things up, let's look at two brands at opposite ends of the price spectrum, Calibre and Yeti. It's no secret that Yeti has been developing a DH bike, probably for Richie Rude's return to full-time downhill racing, so there's a slim chance we might see that come to market this year. But what's more likely is that Yeti will update the 160E. Now three years old, we think it's unlikely that Yeti will abandon Shimano as the motor supplier, given the long partnership between the two brands. But maybe we'll see a third-party battery employed to boost the range, a shorter seat tube and maybe a mullet option. Last but not least, we were excited to see the return of budget Buccaneers Calibre bikes to the market last year. And the brand went straight to the top of our hardtail charts with its Line T327. We hope that the next big release for the brand is the pioneering Boss Nut, a bike that redefined the performance of budget full suspension bikes. It's been missing from the affordable options for a few years now and although brands like Vitus and Polygon have filled the gap admirably, we'd love to see some more choice in the sub two grand category. For that price, we'd expect Calibre to keep it simple, maybe update the sizing and geo touch, but the key at this level is to make sure the suspension is well tuned and the price is competitive. All other aspects of the old bike were totally on the money already. So that's our best guess as to some of the bikes we could see in 2024. Will we end up with egg on our face or smugly saying we told you so? Let us know in the comments below.